In this video, I'm gonna talk you through the things you need to consider when choosing between a two group coffee machine or a three group coffee machine to go into your cafe. Let's start with size and space. Do you even have enough room for a three group? If you're an existing cafe, uh, you might have a bench space that you've got to work with, but if you're building a cafe and you're thinking about how much space you've got to work with, you've also got to think about the fact that you might actually want a jug rinser and a second grinder or a deli grinder or a puck press. They are also, a three group is around 250 millimeters wider than a two group machine, so it is taking up a fair bit more bench space. You do have to think about whether a barista can actually stand in a good position on both steaming arms because you do need to be able to use both steaming arms and have enough room either side of you. So that doesn't always work in every cafe scenario. Now don't forget that a two group coffee machine is already quite heavy. A three group coffee machine can be anywhere upwards from 50 to 60 kilos. So make sure you've built your bench sturdy and strong and ready to hold the weight of that coffee machine. If you are in a restaurant scenario and you're doing a lot of dining, I do have some people that like the size of the machine purely just for the cup warmer. If you're doing takeaway cups, it's not such a big deal, but if you do need that cup warmer on top, that is maybe a reason that the size is important to you. Just keep in mind that if you wanna move from a two group to a three group machine in the future, you might be drilling holes in your benches and cutting holes out for your jug rinse so that it is going to actually um, cause issues for you when you switch to a three group. So when you're doing your planning, Keep it in the back of your mind, if you grow, what would happen if you put a three group machine in? Is it worth, if you've already got an upgrade to 20 amps of power, maybe you wanna do the 32 amps of power now so you don't have to do it down the line. Maybe you need to make sure you've got enough room either side of the machine should you grow into a three group machine. It's definitely something to think about early. If you're not gonna start with a three group, just have that in the back of your mind because if your business grows, you'll be ready for it. Now let's talk about power. Power for a two group machine is around 20 amps. A three group machine is around 32 amps. And sometimes you can get up to 40 amps on a three group machine. Does your cafe have that much power? Do you have access to that? Is it already installed? Or is that another expense that you're now looking at to be able to get a three group? You might be looking at anywhere from $600 upwards if an electrician has to come and upgrade your power. Um, some of the old buildings, they might only have 60 amps of power available in whole place, there is more expenses that you might have to factor in. Now, technical differences. If you're looking at the same model of cover machine, like a two group linear classic or a three group linear classic, just remember that you're not actually getting anything technically different. It's the same machine, you're just getting a bigger boiler, which means you have access to more steam and better recovery time, but not necessarily more technicality to that machine. It's not until you go from say a linear classic to a Strata or a KB90 where you're introducing um, more technicalities in the machine that are going to, a, yes, improve your coffee, but that's not what we're comparing here. We're comparing um, the same models. There is obviously advantages to introducing a third group head in technical things. Like if you wanted to do a single origin um, on a dedicated head, you could actually adjust that to its own brew recipe. You could adjust temperatures if you've got a machine like the KB90 in Lamazoco range, and you can get very technical on one particular head. That way you've got three heads, two doing blends, one doing single origin at its best it can be, and that would be an advantage from a technical point of view. But if you're comparing the same coffee machine, there's no difference technically between the two group and the three group. Now workflow, have you already got a two group coffee machine and you're looking to upgrade to a three group because you think your baristas will get faster. You might need to actually assess your area and you might find that it's actually a workflow issue. I'll put a link in below to a video we've done on workflow that'll help improve speed and efficiencies for your baristas and that might be the answer you're looking for. Let's talk about speed and the volume of coffee you can produce with a two group or a three group. Now, most people have the idea that if you get a three group, you can make coffee faster, and that is just not true. We do training with people on two group machines to get them faster at using both steam ones and, you, and brewing um, the coffees at the same time while using the steam ones. Now, a two group with a good dual boiler can manage that up to about 40 kilos um, upwards. I've seen machines do even more volume, but we, we recommend potentially going to a three group after 40 kilos of coffee, because a two group dual boiler machine can manage the amount of steam required and the brew um, head control there. So what we don't wanna see 
is shot getting made ahead of the steaming of the milk. So we will always recommend people actually get both baristas putting milk on. You can pump out shots as fast as you can. And that's the danger of a three group is you can get way ahead of your milk person by just putting shot, shot, shots. And as soon as that shot is ready and your milk person's not, it's oxidizing and it's decreasing in quality. You're losing flavors and aromas. And that's actually gonna become a negative on your customer ex experience and, and taste of that coffee. So three groups, might make you uh, get the shots out faster, but you're better off putting two people on the steam, um, on the milk, on a two group machine, and consistently getting those coffees out faster. So in my experience from my cafes, I've seen some great results from two group machines. I've, it's meant that I've been able to help them with other equipment that's improved their businesses. And that's what we're going into next. The assets that you've got in your cafe and the return they truly make you. Now, if you're looking at buying your own equipment and you want to buy a Lama's Loco Classic 2 Group, you'd be up for about 14 grand. If you went for a 3 Group, you might be up for around $16,500 Australian. Now, that's $2,500 especially if you're a new cafe, that money really counts. And can you use that money to invest in a second grinder so you can introduce single origins and freshly ground decaf is that expanding your options for more product lines in your business. Maybe you would be better off with a better grinder to produce better coffee or a jug rinser that's going to help productivity and workflow for your baristas. You might be thinking that you're investing in the future of your cafe, and that's definitely true. There is value in buying assets that are obviously going to mean that you can grow. But in the early days, it might be something to think about that you do look at a two group coffee machine and you can use the spare money to invest back into other areas of the business that you can increase profit productivity. And that's the money that you will then be able to sell the two group and upgrade to the three group once you've got the volume to, that you need that three group for. If you're working with a roaster that supplies equipment, they might be able to look at a scenario for you where if you come on board at a lower volume, you can introduce a two group machine and as you grow, you could work with them and upgrade to a three group machine that's gonna suit your business and suit your growth and, and a good roaster will, will help facilitate, facilitate that for you. Understanding your demographic. Now, you need to look at the customers you're gonna be serving if you're an existing business you already know what kind of coffees you're serving but if you're not are you moving into a high volume area that you're going to be doing 16 ounce cups and potentially needing triple shots for a single cup if you have a two group you are going to struggle with one person on the machine to be able to do two cups with a triple shot in each maybe you do need that third head to to be able to make sure you can do the volume of shots you need for the size of cups you need or maybe you need a high cup machine so there's other variables to think about based on the coffees you're going to be making in your cafe. Now, let's talk about servicing, the labor, and the costs involved with that. Now, a three group machine, it's just a bigger machine. There's more to look after, there's more servicing costs. You've got seals and shower screens and just general running costs of that machine. You have to factor those costs into your business and the other expenses you might not really think about now, but is cleaning that machine. There's the cost of the chemicals, but also your staff's labor and time. At the end of a shift, are you allowing enough time in your workday for your baristas to clean, spend the extra time cleaning that third group head? Now I will say that in the case of an emergency, if one of your heads was to get blocked on a three group, you've got two groups left and you can carry on as, business as usual, but on a two group, it does leave you a little bit high and dry when you're back to one head. That's kind of hard to work with if you are a busy little cafe. If you don't have a service technician that you can call and have them fix that uh, group head within 24 hours, it might be something for you to think about that you do need that backup head. And lastly, your brand and your aesthetics. You might just be a specialty coffee shop trying to look the part with all the bells and whistles, the three group machine, the deli grinder, the EK, the jug washer, and that's the look and feel that you want for your cafe from day one. And that's fair. That's definitely reasonable to think that um, if, if that's your thing, you can do what you like. Just be mindful that until you get that volume, you might not be so profitable. Um, you might not really need that three group, yet you still have to service the whole thing. You still have to clean it every day. And there's that, that might be an expense in your business that you can avoid earlier on in the process, but if it's a value to you, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you from 
Uh, I'm not going to talk you out of, of being who you want to be and being the brand and the look and the feel that your business is. Just be mindful that might be an additional cost to you that you're going to have to factor into your business. Now, are you in Australia? Are you looking for copy equipment? Are you trying to decide between a two group and a three group and maybe I could be of more help or my team? I'll put our contact details in below because we work with commercial equipment and domestic equipment. We also can, can help you decide what's the best thing for your cafe. So put our contact details below, but uh, be sure to put any comments that you have in below as well so that we can answer them and the community, the community can answer those questions for you as well. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the bell icon so you get notified of all future videos. Thanks for listening guys. I'll see you next time.